I've often thought of that picture. A way of a transgressor is hard. He just wouldn't stay still where he was eating and having a wonderful time. But the, he had to jump the fence and go get all bruised and cut up like that just to get a mouthful of, of grass of some other different kind. Now that's just about the way people does that jumps the fence of God's pastor. Don't you believe that? Gets out, go out today, come in in church, having a wonderful time, then tomorrow sell out for something like that. It makes it very hard. Ahab was more or less that type of a person. Every way the wind blowed, Ahab had his sail set. If it was on this side or that side. His marriage got him all messed up with the, a little woman, which is a little princess, a king's daughter, a Jezebel, very pretty to look at, very beautiful woman. But in her heart, she was wicked, and she was an idolater, and she caused all Israel. Now, how I would like to bore her there just for a few minutes. She wasn't getting into the core of this on motherhood. See, there. And when a man starts to get married, the type of a girl, a woman that he... It's more than just look at beauty. You've got to get somebody both soul and body joined together. Somebody that's really going to be your friend and pal that will stick with you through thick and thin. Now, but Ahab, he just fell far because she was pretty, I suppose, and Mary, it couldn't be nothing else about her because of wicked as she was. And she come over there and then, of course, being wrapped up with her like that and loved her, why he calls all Israel to sin and to go against God and to tear down the altars of God, build up the altars of Baal. And they had Baal worship all through Israel at the time. Now, it, his wife had caused righteous Naboth. Many of you have read of him. How he took his garden by deceit, swore a lie, and had false witnesses against him because she wanted to do something for her husband and killed a righteous man in order to get a garden adjoined close to the palace land. All this God was looking down. So the prophet Elijah, which was a great, mighty uh, servant of the Lord, prophesied and told Jezebel what would happen to her. And he told Ahab that the dogs would lick his own blood. Now, when God has said anything... Of course, them days, the direct word of the Lord came through the prophet. God in sundry times and divers matters spoke to the fathers through the prophets in this last day through his son Christ Jesus. Amen. So Amen. this is the word. Amen. And if anything's contrary to that, leave it alone. Yeah. See? 